everybody, welcome back to part two, or video two of my pop-up palette series. Today we're going to be going over how to add custom brushes, or not custom brushes, but add brushes to the pop-up palette that you want to use um, more often, right? So first we're going to, we don't need to open the pop-up palette to do any of this yet. What I want you to do, I want to bring this out just so we can take a look at this easier. Make this bigger. All right, so I'm going to go, th right now I have everything selected to all. Okay, I have my custom brush that's current currently selected, which is custom ink. I have all these other brushes. So I'm not gonna make a new brush for this. I'm just gonna select a few brushes and assign them to a new tag, okay? So first thing I wanna do, we'll I'll just go with the purple one. It's there, we're gonna right click on it. We're gonna hit assign to tag. These are the tags that I have already. And what the tag is doing is saying this belongs in this category so we can call on it later. And to find it easier when we're searching or going through our brushes, which we can also put up here and make a new tag here and then assign it that way as well. But we're gonna make it easier. We're gonna select the brush that we want, right click, assign a tag, and we're gonna go to new one. We're gonna say purple, brushes okay or hit the plus icon so now you can see that if we right click it we can actually now remove it from the tag and if we hover over it we can see that it's assigned to the purple brushes tag it's pretty nice right so let's add a couple more we're gonna add to the purple brushes Now this is just me naming it, it doesn't have to be named purple brushes, it doesn't have to be these types of brushes only, it can be anything. I can put erasers in there, I can put the textures in there, I can put everything. Okay, so now that we're done, I'm actually going to put this back here. Oh, there, we there we go. Alright, so the next step is now going to be used in the pop-up palette. I'm going to right click on the canvas and we're going to go down to this little tag here. And as you can see, the tag you just made is now selectable. It's visible and we can click on that and every brush that I put with that tag will now appear here. And if I don't want to use this selection or collection of brushes anymore with this tag, I can go to any other of these tags. And that's pretty much it to add brushes to the pop-up palette. It's really simple. It's definitely not time consuming. It's really just how do you want to organize these brushes to suit your needs and your workflow. Do you want to organize them by brush type? Do you want to organize them by just commonly used brushes like I have here? That is all up to you, but it's fully flexible to add what you want. If you don't want these brushes in that tag anymore. I actually bring this back up. What you can do is go back to that brush, it's one of these, right click on it, and then remove it from the purple brushes tag. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh well. And then right click, go here, you go back to the purple brushes tag and the pop-up palette it will no longer be there. And that is how you remove them from the pop-up palette tag. And, it's, and that's it. It's very simple, very straightforward. There is no extra work that you have to do. You don't have to drag and drop them into here. That's it. Hopefully that helped you guys um, learn how to gather your favorite brushes together and put them in the pop-up palette so you can access them much easier than using the uh, brush presets window, which even if you sift through the tags, it can be a little daunting when you have so many to choose from. All right, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video in my pop-up palette series where we will be going over how to use colors in the pop-up palette and, you know, switch between them and all that fun stuff. As always, if you have any questions or you want to leave a comment, do that below in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video.